Tonight, anti-Semitic attacks are rattling members of a DeKalb County Jewish community. Parents now being forced to talk to their children about hate speech and how to stay safe. Natisha Lance spoke with members of that community. She joins us now live tonight. Natisha. Jennifer, members of that community are now on a heightened alert of security. There are off duty police officers who are standing guard at their synagogues, looking out for anything that might be suspicious. But above all, this community is hopeful that people will start to stand up against the hate. And I do want to warn viewers, some of what you're about to see might be disturbing. You know, my entire life, I've had very, very few anti-Semitic incidents, and then we ended up with two in one week. The rise of anti-Semitism across the country pushing its way into Metro Atlanta. Over the past week, Rabbi Chaim Niedich says he and about a dozen others in his DeKalb County community have been hit with anti-Semitism. It was multiple different people who chose to drive through our Jewish neighborhood and uh, yell things ranging from free Palestine to kill the Jews. And the same week, Niedich says a rideshare driver went on a 30-minute tirade about Jewish people. He says he reported the incident to the company. I really thought that, uh, you know, anti-Semitism, you, you know, for the most part was really going away. And um, from what I'm seeing, it, it looks like it's on the rise. And he's right. The Anti-Defamation League says attacks against Jewish people have doubled since conflict broke out in Israel. And according to their analysis, Twitter showed more than 17,000 tweets referencing a variation of Hitler was right. It's forcing some Jewish parents to have difficult conversations with their kids. I mean, my 10 year old especially was like, why do they hate us? And I, there's no reason. I, I'm like, because. It's, it's really very alarming. And uh, I think that, uh, you know, we need to spread an awareness and, and help people, you know, see what's going on and people need to stand up and fight against this. And Rabbi Niedich says members of the community did report those incidents to those off duty police officers at their synagogues. Now to stop the hate, the Anti-Defamation League says it's really going to take everyone not only identifying, but also calling it out when they see it. Jennifer. Natisha, you're right. Thank you so much.